Instead of spending emeralds to build a giant bed defense with obsidian, why not defend it with crops to make it unbreakable? Instead of trying to win properly, why not fly off in the sky on a zip line? Today, we will be going over some very cheap but useful tricks in Roblox Bed Wars you should start doing. Also, at 100k, I'm gonna face reveal, so consider subscribing. It's free and it'll help a ton. Number one, we all know that you need three balloons to go up. If you fall with only two balloons, it's game over. But what if I told you it is possible to get back up with only two balloons? Well, the first way is pretty obvious pearling. But hear me out. Let's say that you get knocked off with two balloons and no pearls. You may be thinking, cube, there is no way you can survive that. Well, if you have updraft two, you can use the jade hammer to save yourself if you aren't too far down. I guess now is a good Good time to gamble for updraft. This trick works even better if you combine it with jump boost, which you can get in lucky blocks. It's pretty simple and it's a great way to clutch up. Number two, you all know what anti cheat is the thing that everybody hates. Well, you can abuse the anti cheat to do something pretty cool. This trick makes the pirate cannon very overpowered. This is how far a cannon launches you without this trick, and this is how far a cannon launches you with this trick. You need a ghost block for this. Buy a bunch of blocks, drop one on the ground, place it in the chest, and pick it up. Place it in your inventory, hover your cursor towards it, and press two number keys at once. Once you have your ghost block, spam it under you a bunch of times, which will anti-cheat you. Then launch yourself repeatedly with the cannon. It will fling you a million miles away. It's pretty good for rushing, and it's pretty easy. Number 3. With this trick, you can make a working trampoline. Place a gumdrop, then place wool around the gumdrop like so. Congratulations, you've now made a working trampoline. But that's not all. You can use the trampoline to make a pretty clever and simple trap. Build a giant sky bridge and wait for someone to chase you. But make sure to have a trampoline for safety measures. I'd suggest you take off your armor. So It'll convince more people to chase you. If someone chases you, lure them close to the trampoline. Then jump off the bridge and land on the trampoline. When they see you do that, they'll most likely jump after you. But when they land on the trampoline, they'll die. We do a little trolling here. Number 4. With the UZ kit, you can actually hit people through walls, which is kinda broken. If players are in their base, you can sneak around and use the dash ability to slap them up. You pretty much have ghost hacks with this kit. You can use this on a bridge fight or any fight in general. The dash ability can reach players who are 10 blocks away, maybe even more. The range of this thing is insane, so I'd suggest you give this trick a whirl. Number 5. Bedwars just added a feature called the background blur. By pressing F1 on your keyboard, your hotbar is gone and everything around you is blurred. This trick helps reduce your lag, so it's pretty good if your game lags a lot, but the only downside is that you can't see your hotbar or your surroundings. But by lowering your graphics, you can at least see your surroundings a little bit more. Any YouTubers watching this, well this trick is great for challenge videos like the no hotbar challenge. Number 6. The Bubble Blaster is a brand new item that is very overpowered. Not only does it do a lot of damage, but it also stacks with airy. So if you get a bunch of kills with the Boba Blaster, it will stack with your sword damage. You can also spam the Boba Launcher to do even more damage. This is how much damage it does normally, and this is how much damage it does when you spam it. Not only that, it's stacks with enchants, so you can shoot boba at someone and set them on fire, which makes no sense. Number 7. A few weeks ago, they added the paintball gun, which comes from vending machines. So I'm in a custom match, and I got my ult. Help me. As you can see, I'm using Aerie, because I want to show you this. As you can see, the paintball gun shoots two at a time, and it works with Aerie, because you can clearly see I got the butterflies. But unlike the boba blaster, the damage from the gun actually goes up with Aerie, so you pretty much have double Aerie damage with this trick, which makes the gun super OP. Credit to Xylesio Raph. Number 8. The Crocodile Kit is a brand new Season 4 kit, where you basically go ballistic when someone breaks your bed. Just like how you would react in real life. Unless you're a tanker fan and you don't need a bed. Basically, your speed goes up and you do a lot more knockback. But you know what else makes your speed go up? Speed pies. If you get one of your friends with the bigger kit to join, you can combine it with the Croc Wolf kit. They can place pies in the chest and you can take it. If your bed breaks, eat the pies and you'll run at the speed of light. But you might anti cheat. Lesson learned, never break the Krakowulf's bed. I guess that's a bonus tip. Number 9. In the new update, they added a feature that you guys will probably love. And that is free time for custom matches. All you gotta do is press Shift and P. With this feature, you can pretty much move wherever you want and it looks sick. Take a look at this view. Number 10. With the Boba Launcher, you can actually climb walls. Kinda like Spider-Man. Shoot the Boba at the blocks, and you can use them as little platforms which you can jump on. It's not that useful, but it's pretty cool. But I'd rather use the invisible block glitch because it's much cheaper. Number 11. What is the best bet defense? You may think it's Teslas, reinforced blocks, or giant piles of obsidian, but all of those are wrong. The best possible bet defense you can make in a regular match is this right here. You need Farmer Kit for this. The only people who can break it are people with Farmer Kit. Other 
than that, it's completely impossible to break. But you may be asking, doesn't that cost 880 iron? If you get free of your friends to help you, you can get 4 times the amount of iron if you all stay in the gen. If you don't have friends, you can get a bunch of devices like phones, PCs, tablets, whatever you prefer. Once you have your free friends or free Roblox accounts, all you gotta do is sit in the gen and wait. It takes about 3 minutes and 23 seconds to get 220 iron. If 4 accounts sit in the gen for that long, you will have 880 iron combined, which is enough for a carrot defense. All they gotta do is give you the iron in the chest. You should do this trick in 30v30. The gens are a lot faster in 30v30, so all 4 of you can get 880 iron in just under 2 minutes. Number 12. We all know that bedrock cannot be broken in Minecraft. I mean, it's obvious facts, but the same can't be said about Roblox. Some of you don't notice, but they added bedrock to Bed Wars, which looks like this, and it's unbreakable. Quote unquote. There's a way to break it without actually mining it. So let's say your enemy built a bedrock bed defense and they think you can't break it. First, you want to place two blocks like that. Then you want to go get stuck in those blocks. And now you want to box all around you. Now what you want to do is spawn a duck. And because the duck is stuck, it's going to try to escape. And it should break the bedrock. And you can also do it without a host panel. And that is how you break bedrock. From now on, nobody can troll you with a bedrock bed defense. Number 13. With the Yeti kit, you can do a little bit of trolling. If someone crosses the bridge, build up, build over, and trap them. Then use a glacial roar to make the blocks one shot. Break all the blocks and he will fall in the void. It's a very cheap way to annoy someone. Number 14. You can actually one shot obsidian with a very simple trick. First, you need a diamond pickaxe. Then use the Yeti's glacial roar on the obsidian once. Wait for a minute and a half then use it again, which will make the obsidian one shot. So more glacial roars on the same block will make it easier to break. So you can pretty much do the exact same thing with reinforced obsidian. Credits to typology. Number 15. With Jade, you can only jump 10 blocks. But you can jump even more blocks with this cheap trick. Create a ghost block. If you don't know how to do that, go all the way back to trick number 2. Anyways, use the invisible block to build up. Then use a Jade Hammer. By doing this, you can jump way further and it's super good for traveling. Since it's an infinite block, you can do this as much as you want. And you can do this with Void Regent. Number 16. There was a glitch where you can place infinite tesla traps. But many of you think it's patched and that it only works in lucky blocks. But there's actually a way to do it in a regular match. The vending machine drops down from above in regular matches. If you position it correctly, you can place a tesla trap under the vending machine. Once the vending machine lands on it, you can now place infinite tesla traps in a regular match. Have fun spawn killing people and getting called the hacker. Number 17. If you use a charge shield on a zipline then use balloons, you will fly off in the sky. You can only get ziplines and charge shields in lucky blocks. But I'm gonna make this easier for you. Instead of opening up a bunch of lucky blocks just to get a zip line, you can use this map right here. As you can see, there are zip lines in the middle of the map that anybody can use. So all you need is a charge shield and a few balloons. You can just use the zip lines in the middle. Have fun and enjoy your flight. And those are cheap Roblox Bedwars tricks you should start doing. If you find any of these tricks to be helpful and if you want more tricks, please consider subscribing. We're trying to speed run to 100k so if you can just check if you are subscribed, that'll help a ton. And if this get 6.9k likes i'll give away a season 4 battle pass to my discord server link in description go join but for now that's a wrap